What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the ER Forum. So in today's video, man, I wanted to discuss with you guys how I completely regret my first year of nursing school. Welcome to the episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the episode. So like I said previously, I completely regret my first year of nursing school and I wanted to talk with you guys about the reasons why I regret my first year of nursing school. You know, I didn't realize this so much when I was actually going through nursing school. I somewhat sort of figured it out towards the end of my first year of nursing school, uh, but certainly the subsequent years after graduating nursing school, uh, this was solidified in my mind. And so I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes that I did. And that is why I wanted to get on the camera and explain this to you guys. So my first year of nursing school, guys, I was an asshole. I didn't do very well with balancing schoolwork and personal life. I had a terrible balance between the two. Uh, excelled on the schoolwork part failed on friends and family and things like that and I completely regret it. So my entire first year of nursing school, I had this chip on my shoulder. I thought I was very smart because I was doing something different than my friends were doing. I was doing something different than my family was doing. And as a result, I would have schoolwork to do just like everyone does in nursing school. And there would be opportunities that would present themselves that would allow me to be able to go on a trip with my friends somewhere, um, or hang out with my family on the weekend here or go do this during the week there and you know There was a lot of those opportunities and I said no to what feels like 95% of those and in a way towards the latter part of the first year of nursing school I felt as if I was ostracizing my friends and Ostracizing my family and I didn't really have a personal life because I always had some excuse as to why I had to study and Looking back on it now. I feel so stupid for that. I wish I can go back and you know, apologize to everybody. Um, but I really wasn't happy my first year of nursing school. It wasn't until I realized somewhat what I was doing to where I switched my third and fourth semester or my last year of nursing school. And I was a lot happier. So the first year of nursing school, I didn't really go out with anybody. Um, didn't hang out with friends. Didn't spend as much time as I would like with family. I always had an excuse as to why I had to study. Why a 91% in a class wasn't good enough and I was striving for a 94, therefore I had to study an extra two hours for this exam. It's all bullshit. And, you know, I see that now. Grades, unless you have intentions on going to medical school or, you know, getting into PA school or a very competitive program like a CRNA program where your grades need to be straight A's, I don't really see the necessity to worry about having a 91 versus a 94. I just don't. And to be honest, I did get accepted in the PA school on the first attempt and my grades did play a major part of that. But I don't think if I kept the 91 versus getting the 94, which is the difference between an A minus and an A, I don't think that makes or breaks me getting accepted in the PA school. And if it does, then it does. I, I reapply next year, you know, but I don't lose my friends because of it. I don't lose my family, my relationships socially because of it and if I can go back and change things, that's something that I would change. Now obviously, me going through that has created the person I am today. I've learned from my mistakes and now I'm teaching you guys the same. But certainly if I could go back, I would do things a little differently and so I wanted to make this video to explain to you guys that school is not everything, okay? You need to have a life outside of academics. You need to be able to balance the two and believe me, there is a balance and that's something that I absolutely plan on doing once I attend PA school is that, you know, I know it's going to be arduous. I know I'm going to have a difficult time, especially because I've been out of school for two and a half years. You know, going back to studying all the time is going to be a little bit of a transition, but I certainly will incorporate my family and my friends into my life. I will not sacrifice that because at the end of the day, you can be the person that has straight A's and everything. You're this extremely smart person and you have all the diplomas and the grades and the degrees to say so, but you have absolutely no friends. It's a very lonely life. And I started to realize that my first year of nursing school. And uh, did my grades change? 
after I decided to switch and incorporate my friends and my family into my life, my second year of nursing school, yeah, my grades changed for the better. My grades are actually better. And now I don't know if that's because I started to get used to nursing school and used to exams and I got better at, you know, being able to get really good grades in certain um, courses on certain exams and things like that. Or it's because I was a lot happier and when you're happier, you end up doing a lot better in life. And so I'm not sure exactly which was the result of my improved academic performance from the first year to the second year of nursing school. But I definitely know that if I can go back, I would change that. And so, like I said, I wanted to make this video for you guys so that you guys don't make the same mistakes I do. Do not sacrifice your family life, your friends, you know, your, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Do not sacrifice these people for two years of your life. That really doesn't really mean much if you're getting a minuses and B pluses versus getting straight A pluses. You know, it just it has no effect on your life. There is not one person that has asked me what my grades were or what my GPA was when I graduated uh, nursing school in order for me to get the job that I have. Now, maybe somewhere around the country people do that, but I have no idea how that correlates to an employee's work performance as an ER nurse is the fact that they got uh, 88 in pharmacology versus a 94. I, I just don't see it. You know, that is something that I certainly will be taking into consideration when I'm in those positions that will be hiring individuals to work for my group or work for the company that I work for. And grades doesn't really mean much to me. Everyone that graduates in nursing school has great grades. I mean, B's are great grades, guys. A's are great grades. I don't need someone that's a straight A student in nursing school for me to identify that they're competent in information. So that's my rant for you guys. I just wanted to share with you how I regretted my first year of nursing school and how if I was given the opportunity to go back, I would change a lot of things. And I plan on doing the same principles in which I have learned for my first year of nursing school in my medical education here soon in the next couple of months. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button and kick that subscribe button. And uh, follow me on Instagram if you wanna see what I am doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.